Hey guys, so I, uh, I just wanted to do a video about um, something I thought was really important and it's the idea of maintaining some perspective. Um, I guess through my experience, um, for any of you that's watched the video or any, anybody that knows anything about me, um, we know that from the age of about 14 to 19 I you know, went through um, chemical therapy, chemotherapy, and uh, radiation, uh, bone marrow transplant, all that for leukemia. Um, so for about five years, I was sick as a dog. And uh, so it made me kind of appreciate, not kind of, it made me uh, very much so appreciate um, being healthy and, 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 uh, how amazing it is to feel good and not feel like shit, like you're in a vomit and like you might die and that you are dying. <clears throat> and so um, I just, right, that's my experience, right? I, for five years nonstop, pretty much, I was uh, always nauseated, nauseous. I felt like garbage. I felt weak, lethargic, tired worn down, um, lacked energy, all through my adolescence when you're supposed to be the most vigorous of your life. And, and I feel like people always ask me, you know, Zach, why are you so, why do you have so much energy? Why are you, why are you always smiling? Or why do you always have a good outlook, outlook on life? And, you know, I could say, oh, you know, I meditate and I'm a vegan and so I have this energy in my body. And I feel like, yeah, those are all, uh, all things that, that benefit me and help me. But the main thing is that through my experience of being sick for five years nonstop, it helped me appreciate always feeling good. Like I used to wake up in the morning and just feel shitty. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do anything. I literally hated when I'd have my tutor from the district come and want to teach me for two hours about math and science and things I gave nothing about. I cared nothing about. Literally, I could give two shits. And, and, uh, so I guess that helps me in my, in my normal day, you know, my nor more normal routine now in life when I've, you know, got, I, you know, on my job, I've got to hit my budgets and I've got to hit my numbers and stuff like that. And uh, when I get told that, I go, okay, I'll do my best. And if I don't, I don't, because it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I've talked about this in videos before about having perspective and about thinking about things when you are on your deathbed whether that's 50 years old, whether that's 80 years old, whether that's 22 years old, 16, when you are on your deathbed, what is going to matter to you? And if you can have that perspective, your whole life opens up. Nothing matters except really, in my opinion, how well you feel health-wise, how much love you're giving to the people around you, and the love that you feel surrounds you. Right, that's my opinion. I'm just rambling. But from my experience, when you're sick, every person I've talked to, the only thing they can focus on is being well. The Dalai Lama said it best when somebody asked him what's the most interesting thing he's found about humanity and said, and he replied, <clears throat> the most interesting thing I found is that man works his entire life forsaking his health to make money. And then, once he loses his health, he spends all his money trying to get his health back. And I can tell you from personal experience that when you are sick and you feel like you're on your deathbed, which I felt like many times, the only thing I was focused on was feeling better. I didn't care, right? Granted, I didn't have a job and I didn't have to work because I was an adolescent kid. Um, but the only thing I was focused on was feeling better. And I feel like at times that's why we get sick, 
whether it's a cold or a flu or anything, because without that sickness, it, help, it wouldn't allow us to appreciate being well and healthy. And I guess what I'm rambling towards in this video is that you have to find reasons to be grateful. Like you have to have that perspective. You can't allow the bills and the not having the car that you want and not having the lover that you want and not having the whatever it is to deter you from joy. Even if you are sick, which I was in your shoes, I know that all you want is to be well. So if you're watching this video and you're healthy, find reasons to be grateful for that. If you have a good job, that you're not homeless and broke, and you can't afford food, find reasons to be grateful for that. If you have a car to drive, find a reason to be grateful for that car, even if it's a piece of junk that you think. At least it's a car that runs. At least you can put gas in the tank and you can drive places. You don't have to wait and take the bus everywhere or walk everywhere. Like, there's always a reason to find and be grateful for something. And it's all up to you. Like, this life has so much to offer us. Truthfully, like, there's so much to be grateful for. The fact that you woke up and you didn't have to have somebody wipe your butt or pick you up out of bed because you were paralyzed or you were on a ventilator because you had multiple sclerosis or MS or that is MS, muscular dystrophy, excuse me, cystic fibrosis. Like it, there are so many things to be grateful for and you have to remember the bad times to appreciate what you have now. Like just, you don't dwell on the bad times, but I'm not telling you to dwell on that. But just think of a moment when shit was going bad. Even if it's right now, think about a moment that was going worse. If this is the worst time in your life, truthfully the worst time in your life, be grateful that things can only be better from here. And that you're now watching videos like this one that'll help you come up. There's always something to be grateful for. Even if right, you're broke right now and you have very little money but you can watch this, you have a cell phone or you have a tablet or you have a laptop to be grateful for. Right? You can at least start there. Start with one thing, but have some fucking perspective. It's so important because life doesn't give a shit about if you're unhappy or not, or you're joyful or not. It is your life. And by stressing out about not having enough money, or not having the car you want, or not having the house you want, or not loving your job, Right? Those are all things that can change in a moment. Literally in a moment, you could, get, you could apply to a new job, you could get called the next day, and you could be living the dream of having the perfect job. That's as simple as that. Like, life can change so quickly. So, when you are feeling shitty, and you are feeling bad, and you're like, woe is me, Think about just one thing that is going right in your life. Just one. It doesn't have to be something that is magical. But just one thing. Or think about how bad things were. When I'm told I've got to hit my numbers because I'm going to get written up or something. Do you know what I say? Okay. And do you know how I feel? <laughs> like That's how I feel. Because I was on my deathbed. I literally was dying. I don't have a memory for an entire month because I couldn't even swallow my spit. And I was on so many medications, painkillers, to prevent me from feeling like I was swallowing a bag of nails and tacks every time I swallowed my spit. You know, like, you could die in three hours from watching this video. 
You could eat a peanut and have a peanut allergy, be driving your car, run into a tree, break your neck, and it'd be over with. It sounds a little dark, I know. You're not used to hearing so much darkness from me. But your life could change so dramatically, one way or the other, in a split second. You could walk past somebody, and in a split second you could drop your keys, that person could pick it up, and that would be your true love. It's so quick. Things happen so fast. This life will be over before you know it. You'll be in the non-physical realm and you'll be saying, shit, that was a fucking roller coaster ride. I loved every second of it. I'm going back. But while you're here, try to have some perspective. Remember the darkness so that you can remember that the light is now shining on you. Remember when you were in just surrounded by negativity, by darkness. And now realize that you at least have a glimmer of positivity, a glimmer of light shining in on you. I'm only 30 years old, and I sound like I'm, I'm giving you a lecture, which I kind of am. And this is only based on my own experience, right? But I can tell you from my own experience that it doesn't matter. The only thing at the end of the day, when you're thinking about the life that you've lived, only thing you're going to remember is how other people made you feel. You're going to remember the great moments you had with people. You might have a little regret. Hopefully not too much. But the, the things that you're really going to remember are the times when you felt loving and joyful. And you had these immaculate experiences with people you cared about. That's it. So, that's enough lecturing for today. Um, it's been a while since I did one, but I appreciate you guys. Remember, there's always something to be grateful for. Keep changing your perspective. If you can't find one thing to be, great, to be grateful for, it's not because there's not something there, it's because there's something wrong with your thinking processes. There's always something to be grateful for. Always. I know it's just. Anyways, on that note, have a good night. I love you guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.